welcome to this set review. It's a review of all the sets, starring me and some, um, well, it's me really. Starring me, Greg, and some friends. They have names. That was the worst introduction that I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I've done a lot worse than that. I will do. Uh, hello and welcome to Trigger Trigger Channel with you. We are going to do the best set review you have ever nice. seen so in much your better. life. Jazz hands. I'm doing jazz hands. Jazz okay. hands. We have with us the magnificent Greg Simpkins. Greg, Greg, how are you? It's fine. It's nice being the star. And it's, it's a lot of pressure on one man. But it's, look, I'm going to rise to the challenge. All right. Should we begin or do you want to introduce that? Let's begin. <laughs> <laughs> we also have with us the great, the incredible Alex Connor. Alex, how are you? I'm good. Hello, everyone. And there's Gav. Hey, Gav. I knew, Davy, you were going to do that. That was the worst <laughs> voice telegraph. Gav, t tell him, tell him about your medal. Tell him about your medal. <laughs> My medal? Yeah, tell him about the medal. Gavin, what That was medal, pretty good. You? All right. Greg, now you can take it over. I right, so... Take. That's my only thing. Anyway, the, the, sets, set, the Kaladesh set's been, been released, well, been spoiled. We're spoiled for choice with what to look for. So we're going to go through the cards and rate them. And then our tier list, upon which, well, which this, this, uh, this review will spark, should be available online and on mobile. Not in app form, no. But in, you know, on mobile form, on, on Tinternet. So, Davi, why don't you explain what the tiers are, what the tiers mean, and just, just tell us a little more. No, I'm okay. Well, I'll explain. Well, thanks, Thank so, thanks. tier one is a game-breaking bomb. We have, right, so we have seven tiers. Okay. There are seven tiers total, right? And so, what's an example of a game-breaking bomb? What's an example of a game-breaking bomb from Eldritch Moon? <laughs> True question. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, Gav, you had one job. You had one job. I'm going to take that medal away from you. <laughs> I'm going to load that spreadsheet back up again. <laughs> Gavin hasn't really played Magic before. He's just here. Um, he's Elder Deep Fiend is a game-breaking bomb. This is agreed. Uh, we didn't put Elder Deep Fiend on one, I think. Did we? Uh, I think we did. Yeah, well, we did. you did. We did, we did, we did. Okay, so tier, one, tier one's Elder Deep Fiend level. Tier two, that's kind of a, a great first pick bomb. bomb. Mirror Wing Dragon. Mirror Wing Dragon, that's what we're talking about. Tier three, that's your, that's your good, solid commons. Your good, solid, well, maybe uncommons, rares. What are we talking about for tier three? Wretched Griff, that's a good tier 3 example. Tier 4 is more of a filler card. You pick it up midway through the pack. Sort of a, a backward survivalist type of card. Impetuous Devils. It's, an, it's another example of a Great decent... <laughs> no, that's, that's not the best example. Leave this to me, bros. Prey Upon. Prey Upon, that's a good tier 4 example. A good solid card you'll always play. Tier 5, that's more of the, the lower filler. We're talking... What are we talking? We're talking your deranged Curious. whelps. 20, 21st, yeah. 22nd, 23rd. Yeah. Uh, Hopefully not any of those, but that's your, your tier six. We're getting into the, the dregs with tier six. Tier six is the the card you're not looking to play. What, what's an example, Maestro? Who's Maestro? Well, me, <laughs> me. I, sorry, Which I should have specified. Woodcutter's grit. There we go. It's a card you don't want to play. You really don't want to play, but you may occasionally be forced to. Tier seven. That's your plain unplayables. No, this is completely wrong because we said, okay. That's not a good thing to be saying in our podcast. We'll, 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 we'll edit, edit that out. out. We'll edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> we, in we fact, Gav, every time you speak, I'm going to edit it out now. Automatically. I know, but, but you, you've forgotten the list of tiers already. But yeah, okay. Tier 7 is unplayable, we said. Okay. Yeah, well, what, so what's an example of an unplayable card? Um, deploy the Gatewatch. Well, not if you've got two Planeswalkers, it's not Gavin. So Emrakul's influence. Not if you've got six... Eight power creatures. It's not so. Uh, Raven standard bearer. No, not if you've got loads of. Uh, yeah, these are all. These are all unplayable cards. I'm, I'm pulling your leg. I'm tickling your chain. I'm yanking your face. Yanking my face. <laughs> yanking your face. So let's get to the uh, tier let's review just then. Let's get to the fucking tier review. Yeah, can we? Can we? Can we start? <laughs> we, right, don't so we don't need to be so. So the way this is gonna work. Professional. Is <laughs> we're gonna ask for Gab's opinion, and we're gonna tell him why he's wrong. Yeah. I like Davy that. Oh, that, that is very much unfair. But yeah. So, Gavin, what tier is this? Davy has a terrible obsession with me being bad at magic, but unfortunately, I'm actually quite good. But I also don't play as much as him. That's let's true. do this That's tier true. list, guys. Right, yeah. so, uh, so let's start with what? How many GPTs have you tied? Have... Um... Yeah, Davy, let's, let's look at. Wait, how many GPTs have you won? This is, this, is, this is in squabbling. We don't need this in squabbling. The, the, so the show must go on. On GPT, Davy, then you can say you're better than me at magic. Wow! Listen, okay, guys. so first we have acrobatic maneuvers. Yeah, so we somebody get... should read the cards, because I have an accent. 
Yeah. Uh, I like your so accent. Exile target creature you control, then return it, that card to the battlefield under its owner's control and draw a card. Right, well, first Let's things first. First things factory. first, I'm going to check we're recording. We are. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> that, seemed, that seemed like a good start. Good for that save. Oh, <laughs> right, so with that out of the way, there's a, there's a pretty minor blink theme in this set. There's a lot of enter the battlefield triggers, is what he's trying to say. Yeah. Um, I... Is card, I'm just going to go in there and say this is tier 5. Because um, it's like it cycles, which is great, but it's three mana. How much value are you actually going to get from the blink effect? You need something to target. I think it's just sort of it's it's becoming quite a niche. Yeah, it's very situational. You yeah, need to control thing to a teacher. Yeah, one to pay attention is it's not up to one target creature. So if you have no targets, you can't just cycle this. Yeah, good point. First of all, but. There is a lot of Enter the Battlefield things, and I think this card will be solid. I mean, it's not going to be amazing, but I think it would be a tier 4 card. So. Really? A decent filler card? Decent filler card, yeah. I, I think a lot of decks a lot of decks will not want to play this ever, but a lot of decks will be happy with one or two. Okay. Uh, uh, there is a limited number of cards like this, and you can play in a deck. deck yes, you could. Yeah, you don't, need, you don't want 8 of those, but... One or two in the right deck, I think, will be decent. Okay, I'm happy with that. I would say, I guess, it's bottom of tier four. Yeah, so okay. we, I put it in bottom top, of tier four. Top of tier five. Let's move. Let's tier. move. I'd go. I'd go. I'd go about there as well. So we're looking at sort of C minus, where we to use other particular things. Okay. So, so now this uh, is very good. Vampire Night Talk, they called it back in the day. Right. I, I are your responders. So. I'm going to ask the person who started the earliest to play. So, Alex, what do you think? Well, what? You're the youngest Magic player. <laughs> That's okay. a good point. Um, Ever. I mean, on rate and ability, it seems insane. I mean, the only the only drawback is it's two, double white, which potentially means you won't play it on curve. But when you're, as soon as you're playing this on curve, it's just doing everything you want. It's got evasion, it's got vigilance, it's attack block, it's gaining your life. Pick as many as you can, play them all. So what do you think? What tier would you give it? I would give this a tier two. Excellent, I'm so proud. High tier two or low tier two? Well, let, let me just interject and say, so Vampire Night Talk, which this card's almost a carbon copy of, Vampire Night Talk, the uninitiated from Zendikar was one black black, death touch, flying lifelink. The, uh, the, the, why that was so good is every game in Zendikar was a race, so the lifelink was insane and nothing could kill it. None of the removal of the format could kill it. Like, a, like it was, there was a lot of destroy target black creature, do two damage, and it was a 2-3. Yep. Is this going to be as good because this format doesn't look as racy? Ooh, and uh, there's, well, there's stuff that does kill it. It's impossible to know, but if this card is not amazing, this will be the weirdest format in the history of Magic, because this yeah. card is busted. This card is ridiculous. If they play this against your turn 3 and you're on the draw, and they're on the play, you're like, well, obviously, if you're on the draw, they're on the play. Uh, that would be pretty sad if you can't it's, remove this. You can't almost, raise this. It's almost suspiciously good that it's an uncommon, like what you're saying, Davi. It's so suspicious that it might be actually bad, but it'd be very highly uncommon. Oh, what? What, what does that, that mean? No, 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 as in, as in, it's so good. Bad at all. It's, so it's good. never going to be bad. That's no, no. definitely not what I said. This card is amazing. Yeah, but what you're saying is the only scenario, it would be so rare for it to be bad, right? But it yeah, can't be bad. It's brilliant. It will have to be really, really weird. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. I mean, you just can't race it because it's got lifelink and it's got vigilance and it's got flying. Yep. Yeah, it's good. So high tier two. First yeah, I pick, agree. First pick, Windmill Slam. Easy tier first two. pick, yeah. Aetherstorm Rock. I tell you what, I'll read the cards out so we've got to assess. So it's two white, white, flying. When Aetherstorm Rock or another creature enters the battlefield, and you're sure you get energy. One energy counter. When it attacks, you may pay two energies. If you do, put a plus one plus one counter on it and tap up to one target creature defending player controls. Uh, what do we think? is interesting for all of those of you who played with the Pokemon card game. I, I think it's nice that Magic is is branching into the Pokemon people. <laughs> no, that wasn't hard. Job, but, uh, this also uh, looks like a Pidgeot, so maybe that's true. Uh huh. This also looks a bit like a Pidgeot or a Fero. Oh, that's that's. How okay. does this work? Because when it flaps its wings, doesn't that? 
from, from, from a physics point of view, uh, it just it's, fall. It's, it's magic. Ether, it's ether that makes it fly, right. like on the wings. All right. Anyway, moving on. Onto the card itself. So on the baseline, it's a four mana three three that grants one energy. A four mana three three flyer is good. Like you play it in any deck, despite it being double colored. Oh, this is like a limited bomb. Yeah, I, I'm I'm on the limited bomb here. Awesome. So you yeah. play it. Next turn you play a creature. You attack. You tap down one of their creatures, and, and you've got a four. And you're getting flyer. energy from this and other creatures, which there's a lot of energy throughout the set in every color. So even if you're white X, you're still going to be using energy. You don't. You're not. Uh, important to know that you can only do this once a turn. Yeah, but it's just, yes. Yeah, that is true. Like you can't if you have ten energy, you can't do it five times and tap their whole team. But still, this card is a, amazing. I would pick this over the previous card. It's like oh, that's an interesting one. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I would as well. Yeah. You would pick that over that. Okay. Yeah, totally. I think so. I think it's just mm. better. It is. I, think it's I, a... don't, I, I don't think it's tier one though. I don't think it's no, a, a no, game-breaking no. bomb. No, I don't think it's tier one, but it's top of tier two. Agreed. Top just of a very good card. Eighty-five again. Which is yes. you remember what the uh, what the last one was too. Internal okay, rankings. Next one. Yeah, next so, card. so next card is the Angel of Invention. Seems good. Flying Visions, Life Link for five mana. Fabricate two other creatures you control get plus one plus one, irrespective of which option you choose. But this is much better than the one above. Yeah, it's not. It's not much better. It's not much better. Mm. It is better but, uh, though. This, uh, this... It's amazing. It is better. It is better. So, what are we saying? This is a game-breaking bomb. Well, think think about it. So, you whatever board you have, you drop this on turn five. Whatever you do, your creatures now probably have attacks because you've given yeah, it a and glorious it's got anthem. Huge like variation in what you can do. Options. It depends on how wide the format. format yeah. Is. If but you this... drop you drop this and you get two two twos. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, that's rude. If the format is wide, usually. Uh, this card will be a tier one card, but we don't know that. You've yet. got to remember the servos don't have flying, so they're ah, two. Two, two two ground creatures, which I know, but it's not. But given this is a creature where one of the main, one of the main, this is a set where one of the main, like not keywords, one of the main themes. The one of the main themes is getting one one, one creatures. One. Yeah, 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 definitely. I think this is a game breaking bomb. I think this is a tier one. Yeah, it's tier one. It's I agree. tier one. There'll be better. There'll be better bombs though. Is it low? It's low tier one though, right? It's yeah. The most game breaking. Well, I don't know. I, I don't think it's a gear hulk. We don't want to call it a hundred, right? Yeah, now. it's not it's a gear hulk. Of space. Well, well let's so let's, let's let's leave numbers out of it. Let's just use the numbers we've agreed upon. <laughs> yeah, but you you want to know whether it's the top of the tier or not? But okay. Okay, we'll I make say. From the top of the tier. This is this is a great card. This is a. I don't know the first... other cards. I don't know if this is top or bottom. I haven't so, read all the such yet. First pick, wind windmill slam, right tier one. Okay. Yeah, well so far. Authority of the councils. Thank God. Somewhat, but I don't know. Is this bad? I would probably play this card. I think this card is great. Playing Thalia, playing against Thalia, was a nightmare. What was, what was the? So for the for the blind amongst us, it say one white enchantment creature <laughs> or creatures your opponent's control into the battlefield tapped. Yeah. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under an opponent's control, you gain one life. Okay, this this is in this effect is powerful, what? but yeah, in limited, that, um, what in the... limited, is this worth a card? Yes. What was the card? I think it was in M14. There was a 2 1 that all your opponent creatures came into play tabs. It was in M14. It was 2 red, I think. Gob it was goblins. white. Yep, right or red, as I was saying. It's red or white. Both are equally likely. Uh, but that wasn't a huge bomb. It was a good it card. It really good. And I think this card is very good. Yeah, it's an awful top deck. That's, that's about it. Tier 2. No, I don't. I, no, I don't think. I, I think. I don't think this card's as good as you're making out at all. I know creatures you got opponents control enter the battlefield tap, but with something like Thalia, you've got a three-two first strike body. This one. It's a. It's. This it one is gaining a lot of life. Yeah, if you play this turn one, you're and probably I, gaining and, five to ten life. And the same thing. If this, this is a format that goes really wide, just like the card above showed us, this will be great. This will gain but, you a lot of life. But hold on. What? what there's deck? a lot of doctors and stuff. What what deck does this go in? Because if your creatures your opponent's control into the battlefield tap, I would just I would just play this in instantly. Is decent filler. No, but cre creatures your opponent's control into the battlefield tap. Well, as they haven't can't attack first turn, the only benefit of that is so that you can attack yeah, past them. So that goes in. Yeah. 
So that goes in an aggressive deck, but the second ability is whenever a creature on the battlefield and Prince control, you gain one life, is a defensive ability. Not so only on aggressive... On not, no, 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 I don't agree. That's not only on an aggressive deck. It's better on an aggressive deck, but... When it has you, no effect you, in a defensive even, deck. That's not true. Even if you're at parity, and so if you're both top decking and you have this and they don't, it's a huge advantage. Like, if the board is in any sort of parity, having their creatures not being able to block one turn is good. It's not nothing. It's better on an aggressive deck. I think this card will be good. I could be wrong. Although it's never a decent fella. <laughs> I, think this is, I think this is a tier 3 card. I, don't think, I strongly dis disagree with that. I think this is a, a filler card. I would not be happy to play this card. I'm popping in at the bottom of solid I think you change your mind. All right. Okay. It's going at the bottom of solid playables. Controversy. So we're putting this in tier four for now, right? Oh, no, I don't agree to that. Tier three. It's You're mad. Tier You're mad. Okay. Alex, I would, I would say it's tier three easily. Okay, I think this card's going to be bad. I think yeah, this card. I, will... agree, I agree with you, Greg. I don't think that, I think this is not what this format is 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 going to enjoy. Okay. Well, this is, this is interesting. We will we will revisit this in our next set review. No, I'm not leaving at tier three. Okay, let's put. Well, let's put it. Let's let's. let's Just say tier, tier three, tier four. Wait. It's at the bottom of tier three. Yeah, it's fine. Sure. No, we know. Just... We, we we have differing opinions on this. It's interesting. It's good. Let's move on. Yeah. Next. Next card is Avery Mechanic. Gab, will you do the honors? Avery Mechanic. When Avery Mechanic enters the battlefield, you may return another permanent you control to its owner's hand. One white, two two. One white, two two. two. Yeah. Um, so I, I like this card. Possible. I. I think this card's much better than the card we just looked at. Decent filler. I think it's this card. This card's a strong no, card. I mean, yeah, worst... I think this would yeah, be a card I'm, I'm happy to pick if I'm on the right deck. Solid playable, definitely, because it's worst two can, mana yeah. for a two-two, which is just the going rate. Plus, it has a very interesting and flexible upside that will probably be quite synergistic. Yeah. Yeah, and the good thing is it's a may ability. So if it's if you don't want to, you don't yeah. have to. Yeah. I like this card. I would go. I'll play solid. my two-two. Bounce it. Pass. <laughs> <laughs> I. Uh, oh, it's another creature. I would give this a solid tier four rating. Is this card better than Reflector Mage? It's not your opponent's. It's only. Permanent. No, no, I know. I know. Is it better than Reflector Mage? No. What? No. Okay, just checking. It's also not better uh, than uh, Avacyn or Sorin. That's cute. That's the level of humor we have here. Um. <laughs> yeah. So okay, we're saying what. Solid tier four. Tier four. Yeah. Sure. Yep. Should Did we I say think... tier three? I, I think no. Tier four. Yeah. I think... no. Yeah. Tier four. Right. Tier four. Right. Let's Down to built to last. Davi, if you do the honors for this one. Uh, all right. Built to last. Target creature gets plus two plus two until the end of turn. If it's an artifact creature, it gain indestructible until the end of turn. It's bad, fella. It's a one white for an instant, so it's a combat trick. Uh, every, set, every set has this. Strength of Arms. Um, it's, was it, it, there was the one before in Battle of Zendikar. Yep. Colorless creatures don't deal damage. It's always No, it had that weird. Uh, yeah, Lithomancer's Focus, you're right. Yeah. It's always playable. It's always like a tier 5 average filler card. Yeah. I assume it will be here too. I'm sure. playing this in the white red deck where I got that enchantment. And um, If the format is more yeah, aggressive. Yeah, on everyone. This could go up in rank easily. Yeah, if this is a Magic Origins type format, these things are great. Like, yeah. combo tricks for one man are always good, but assuming it's not, and there's nothing to suggest it's necessarily going to be so far, given there's a lot of chump blockers potentially with all mm -hmm. these servos, I think it's just a tier 5 card. Sure. Yep. Cool. Okay. Captured by the Consulate, a story card, no less. Enchant creature you don't control, enchanted creature can't attack. When an opponent casts a spell, a single target, change the target to enchanted creature. This is a complicated able. one. Yeah, it is. So it's three and a white for an enchantment aura. Yes. It's also, I mean, first when I saw this, oh, this is great, it's pacifism with upside, but it's not because it can't attack, but it can block. So it shuts off an attacker, and they can't remove anything because it just removes this. Well, they can because they just remove it, it removes this, and then the game continues. Well, but if they're doing that, is you're still getting a two for one? Well, not yeah, I suppose so actually. No, you are. Yeah, you are because you're using this card and they're using two. But, but until they, you're, you're forcing them to use a combat trick so, or you know one of their. Well, it has to be a removal spell, otherwise this card doesn't go and it still stays. Oh yes, that is true. 
Because it, it, it yeah. But the fact that they can't remove anything until they remove this mm. is it bad, very interesting. It's very pretty good. good. I but think the down good. the downside is it it can block. It can just stay on the battlefield and just be a deterrent. Like if you enchant the six six, then does, you've got really attack. It does turn off their removal. Mm, or it, does it? No, not really. It was, it's it's it sort of pseudo removal. It's it's more tricky removal than anything because you can't tap past this if it's on a big creature. So it just sits there. Yeah, so the trick will be casting this on a creature that doesn't prevent you f from still attacking, but has an... Yeah, so you have flyers and they have a ground creature that so you can nullify. Yeah, and that then makes their, their spells a... very tricky to play. That's true. Work out. Isn't it? Yeah, I I'm with you, Gavin. That's a, that's a very good situation you've just described, but... I can't think of any one that works so well. It's a situational card. I don't like it too much. I think it's expensive. Let's go with, let's go with a five, I think. I'd call this bad filler sideboard. I disagree. I disagree. Yeah, I think okay, it's a bit better than that. Filler. Decent filler. It's a solid playable. I think this card is solid. I don't know. I think it's dead so many times. I think so, so many too. It's, it's never dead. dead. No, of course it is. Of course it is. What? You're stopping that creature from attacking, and then whenever they cast, has to target that creature. That's never dead. Uh, if you're the one attacking, and they... Okay, there are some situations where it's dead. If you're the one attacking, this doesn't do anything. Because mm -hmm. they can still block. But if you're, okay, however, but... however, this is... The fact that this card is not always amazing doesn't take away from the fact that this card is really good. But it's, it's not really good so much. There's so many situations where it does nothing. Like, I enchant their creature, they block with it. Okay. It's not even a removal or spell. They don't, they don't yeah, have removal. Describe one situation. Well, no, I, I think I think I think in a lot of a lot of decks this would be amazing. Exactly what they want in a flyers deck, this could be amazing. Yeah, agreed, flyers. agreed. And it's it's best case scenario for them. If they have to deal with this, they will have to two for one themselves. So I guess it's the question is: Is four mana enchantment removal ever, ever good enough that you want a downside? Right, you. You know, you want it to turn off the creature if you're paying four mana. It's not even. It's not only removal. It also turns off their removal. Yes. Yeah. Like they can't, kill, they can't not... kill your flyers while this is on the battlefield. I think. But it's, a, it's only removal in a flyers deck. Otherwise, it's not removal. Like if the ball, if there's a board state. Yeah. If there's a, a yeah, board. Yeah, no, I agree. But stall. I still think this is will... two mana. <laughs> yeah, four, four's expand. I'm, I'd say tier four. I'd say. It, it's, there's some sometimes where it's amazing, sometimes where it's dead, and it's quite expensive. On yeah. play on balance, I'd say it's a solid playable, a good playable fillery card. I wouldn't say I wouldn't go out my way to pick this early. Decent on. filler, decent filler. I think if I played this early, I tried to draft around it. I can see that. That makes sense. It is a, it, like it is a powerful effect if you can get it in the right situation. Hmm. Alex, you've got the you've got the deciding word. I think it's tier three. It, it feels very good to me. Okay, let's put it at the top of tier four. That's good. Decent, <laughs> so just Why are we even decent... giving our opinions? <laughs> That's good. No, Go well, I'm taking you on board. What? You want me to put it in tier three? I can. Well, I suppose we both say tier. I'd say tier four or five. I really don't think it's that good. I I, I, I agree with Alex. I think it's a tier three. Okay. It goes in tier three then. We are disagreeing a lot. Yeah, it's well, interesting. That's interesting. Why you'd why you'd be so wrong? Let's go to Cataclysmic Gear Hulk. Um, not much to say about this, is there? We should read it out. Cataclysmic Gear Hulk, three white white, so five in total. For an artifact creature construct at mythic rarity, has vigilance, and then it has an enter the battlefield trigger of each player chooses an artifact, creature, enchantment, and planeswalker from among their non land permanents, and then sacrifices the rest. So it's sort of tragic arrogance from Origins, but you don't get to choose, and then it's an even effect for both players. So. It's a four five body. Um, and the Gear Hulk is one of the choices, so you have to choose the Gear Hulk. You don't have to choose the Gear Hulk. Oh, but, you, but yeah, if you want it to survive, yeah. it's presumably going to be your just, artifact well, choice. Yes. There's things about this card. First, you can't touch this. Because huh? 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 it has a hammer. So it's empty. <laughs> <hammer. laughs> Second Lowest one. Uh, it's come it's to <laughs> That's what, that was great. <laughs> I'm he's Brazilian. He's, um, he's from Sao Paulo. That's racist. That's, that's a horrific. The first thing is, only towards you, you. You 
oh, for, why why is not? Even though it looks like it's even for both players, it really isn't at all. Because you get and four five artifacts. The first to one from. is you decide when you play this, so you can shape a board so that you are gonna have way more advantage from the effect of your opponent. The second one is. If you have only Gear Hulk and another creature, both of them survive. Mm -hmm. You can choose Gear Hulk as your artifact and the other creature as your creature. Uh, this card is great. This card is insane. This card is amazing. Yeah, I'd say it's, it's 100. It's a tier 1 bomb. It's a tier 1. All the Gear Hulks will be. Let's great. rock on. Don't ruin it. It's us. one of the better ones. Consulate Surveillance. It's an interesting card. So, Four mana. Oh. Go for it. Go for it. Oh, sorry. Consulate Surveillance. Three and a white. Enchantment. When Consulate Surveillance enters the battlefield, you get four energy counters. You can pay two energy counters to prevent all damage that will be dealt to you this turn by a source of your choice. So it's important that we talk about energy first. For those of you who are not familiar with energy, for most people, energy is an instant speed thing. So pay two energy, it's an instant speed. If you're did, tapped out, you did, still did have we, the ability. Did we confirm, confirm that? Yeah, it, it just is. Okay. So okay. Th this is if you are tapped out, this is another form of cost, and that in itself is very pay very powerful in Magic. Like Phyrexian Mana was very powerful because you could pay when tapped out. So that mm -hmm. is implicitly very powerful. However, this card's shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it bad. Bad, great, does it? bad filler sideboard. Well, well, I think the best thing about this is it gives you four energy. Four energy, yeah. Because it used to do something else. It's used something useful, but it's prevent all damage will be dealt to you this turn. Like if it was dealt to you or a creature, it would be quite good. But it's by one source. Is this, is this terrible or unplayable? I'd it's say not, this is this is a tier six card in my mind. It's not unplayable, but it's terrible. It feels terrible. Perfect. What do you think, Debbie? I agree. Yeah, sweet. Tier 6. Yeah, rock on. Consul's Shield Guard. When Consul's Shield Guard enters the battlefield, you get 2 energy. When it attacks, you may pay 1 energy. If you do, target attacking creature gains indestructible until end of term. It is a 4 mana, 3, 4, uncommon, 3 and a white. This card's great. And it's another target attacking creature, so it's not... I love his hair. It's here. Oh, it does look good, doesn't it's it? It's not a hair, it's a hat. Isn't it? It's not a hat. No, it's, it's, it's like a turban thing, right? I think it's oh, it maybe a turban thing. No, it's hair. It's hair with some stuff on top, like yeah, that. with a like a crown sort of mesh thing going on. I like it. There must be a name for that, and we don't know. So this is fine. I mean, it's a blank in an energy, in a in a non-energy deck, I suppose. It's no, well, not really. It's a four what? mana three four. He and he uses the energy himself. Uh, but you have to have another attacking creature. You hopefully you've drafted more than one creature. <laughs> Um, I'm sure, it's okay. I think it's very good. It's I think it's self indestructible. That's great. Yeah, cards are awesome. It can't give itself indestructible. No, it can't give itself in. Another target. Another creature. one. Okay, this is a lot worse. Yeah, <laughs> like I like I said. But a four mana three four, four, a four mana three four attacking is still strong. Like if I play a four mana three four, I'm probably going to attack with it on turn five. Uh, I, I, actually, I'm not a big fan of this card. I think this is, but if we look at the other things you're given three, like the vindicated. the the Thalia rest card, I think this is so much better. Also, it's a four mana three four. That they're really good stats. They're not comparable. You're comparing two different cards. No, I don't think this card is bad, but I don't think this card is great. I yeah. think it's a very solid play. I'd give this a tier three rating. I think this is a four. Yeah, I think it's a four. I think it's a four. Four mana three four is already very good, and it's got very strong upside. The two energy and the attacking creature indestructible okay there, there are times when you that's just dead text but still four mana three four is just good no the card is the, the card is good i don't know if it breaks the tree though maybe maybe it does well, i'd say it's on i'd say it's very, I, I, yeah. yeah i agree it's strat so we'll we'll, we'll 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 dabble with that i think it's a b minus if we're talking in so it's a tier, term. Four. tier three stroke four i say bottom of tier three sure okay. i can live with that okay sweet cool. let's go to eddie trail hawk Eddie. Eddie Trail. Get edited. One colorless, one white creature bird. It's a common. Flying. When it enters the battlefield, you get two energy counters, as discussed. When it attacks, you may pay one energy counter. If you do, another target attacking creature gains flying until the end of turn. And it's a 1 2. Okay, a 2 mana 1 2 is bad with flying. It's just bad. That's just. Let's get that out of there straight away. So we have to e evaluate this card based on its energy. Davi, what do you think of its energy? Well, of the energy it's garnering and what it can do with the energy. I think this is good. Okay, so you're saying that the energy pushes over the top, I assume. Yeah, I think giving another thing flying 
could be really good. Mm. And the energy is not like how much how much of a card would one energy be? Like a fifth of a card? Because we know that one ma like two mana one three flyer is good. Like it's playable in most formats. Yeah, but it's not but good, but it's playable. There were a million examples. I, like the Pegasus guy from Origins, and recently there was another one. They are they they are so always not... solid. You're happy to play them. I don't think it's Origins. It's the one of, two. You think of dragons, my friend. But yeah, I mean the one in Oath and yeah, but no, one two is so much worse. There was a Pegasus on Origins. There was one three. We'll we'll check that later. I'll get my I'll get my men on it. Alex made a good point though that a one two in this format isn't necessarily the worst stats given there are so many one one servos running around. Mm. Yeah, that is true. I don't like this I card. I think this is okay. I don't think this card's very good. I think when it attacks, you may play things. If you do another target attack, creature gains flying. Yeah, I okay. Think, if I think a white green deck, maybe. I can think it's considerably better than the card we just saw. What? That's mental. No. It's considerably worse than this. So this is a four mana three four. This is a two mana one two. Okay. It's cheaper. In my in my mind, I, I may be wrong. No, I'm joking. It is worse. But I think this card might be good. I think this card might be surprisingly good. Decent filler, we're saying? I think, I think it's going to be unsurprisingly bad. I'd say put this in tier 5. Uh... I think this is this is a card I'd pick up 8 and hope not to play, but you know, be, I'd be fine playing it as probably my 23rd card in an aggressive white breed deck with big creatures. Okay, like this can be, if you're swinging Rima's 6-6s, six which you're giving flying, that's okay. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you're right. If you can, but you can do other things with the energy as well. I, that's I, true. I mean, that's it's going to depend how good energy is. And I like energy as a concept. Like I say, it's intrinsically strong. But I just can't look past the one, two for two. Uh, it's not the word. I don't know. Yeah, this is probably a five. Sweet. Any other thoughts? Okay, so we're calling this bad filler sideboard. I wouldn't say sideboard, it's just a yeah, bad Yeah, not even bad fillers. I, well, I, actually, decent I would be happy playing this. I tier 4 then, decent filler. No, I'd say, uh, no, tier 5. Tier 5 no, is very five. Okay. Right. Cool. Let's go down to Fairgrounds Warden. Alex, if you do the honours. The show must go on. The show <laughs> must go on. Okay, I'll do it. Fairgrounds, <laughs> Fairgrounds Warden. Two and a white. I was muted, my bad. Dwarf Soldier, and it's an uncommon. It's a 1-3. When it enters the battlefield, you exile target creature and opponent controls until Fairgrounds Warden leaves the battlefield. Pretty good. Yeah, it seems pretty good. So That's it's a amazing. Reprint, it's reprint a dwarf. Of... It has Anna Soldier. It's a reprint of this. Oh, it... the, uh, there were cards like this Is it all Fiendbinder? over the history. Not They're always really good. Fiendbinder is an example. Uh, is what was the 2-2 one, one that exiled as well? One and a, Fiend one... Hunter, I'm thinking of. Yeah, Fiend Hunter. What was the 2-2-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-1-
Hmm. Very good point. But there are also games where this kills their best creature for one mana and lets you do something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. I think on yeah, I think on basis I'd give it a tier four, with the very much proviso that you reevaluate this card after game one. Mm. I think this is a sort of oh, I don't know. I think this will be picked too early in the format. People will pick this up too early yeah, when like, you should be picking it up mid to late pack. I like that. I think that's a fair assessment. Yeah, it doesn't kill a lot of the vehicles. I'm not sure about this. I don't think people are curving out with artifacts. People there are, still, there are. Sorry. Yeah, I think more often than not, they're going to play a two mana colored creature, a three mana colored creature, and then make some servos. And you're like, I'm going to spend a card and one mana to kill an artifact they've created. I don't know. Three. I, I say it's I'm worried about this card. I'd say I'd say we're looking we're looking at tier four, but with the yeah. proviso that you know, it could be going down. Yeah, I agree. I, I think what you said about people picking this up too early is going to bear truth. Because people are going to think this... this on a tier five, but I'm yeah, not... I would say tier five as well. Oh uh, no, I, I think if we're if we're putting that at the same level as the bird, I think we've got to reassess. I think this is a this is a solid card. You'll start one up. Sure. Okay. I'm I'm still up on the bird, but we'll see. Yeah. So both the bird and this are in the same tier tier five. Yeah, I'm okay with that. <laughs> Really? Okay. I think or do you, want, do you want this to go into tier just 4? Okay, fact, let's put I it think in tier just four. the fact that you don't want multiples of this, maybe. Yeah, but I, I think the first one... I'm very wrong, but I don't know. I'm going to play this. I'd put this in tier 4. I, I would always play the first one of these. 100%. <laughs> with, uh, with, uh, we've been dropping this set a lot. <laughs> I'll record this. That's a good thing. <laughs> right. Okay, let, let's, let's get down. Go. Let's go. Click on Skype, Greg, and then click off it, and it'll get rid of that notification. Short. Fumigate, thank you. Right, so this good. is the de bomb. Destroy all creatures. You gain one life for each creature destroyed this way. Three white white. Let so me snap. One. Let me preface this by saying I'm not a huge fan of Wrath of God effects in limited. Uh, you're also a bad player, so this is, this, this is true. This is true. No, I like. No, yeah, no, I get, get what you mean, Greg. I mean, is this better than a five mana big creature? Really? Yes, yes, it is. It is way but better. When you're this ahead, it is great. When, this card is amazing. When you're behind, just people are talking about this card is insanely good. Yeah. I wouldn't get that far. This card wins games that no other card will win, but at the same time, it does nothing. Stone nothing when you're ahead. Yeah. But then again. If you're ahead, you're but winning. Then again, it you're ahead. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, it, but it does nothing as a top deck if you're in a board stall, right? It just... It resets the game and gives you no, no, tons of you life. You reset the game, they draw a card, they play a card. Listen, the amount of games I've played where I'm like, he's got a Wrath effect, turn seven, he's played two cards, you know, just lose count. I, I, I think this might be people don't know how to play with Wrath effects too well, probably myself included. I just... It's very, very powerful. I wouldn't say it's tier one. This is no way as good no, as a gear people hog. are greedy. People are too greedy. They they want the wrath effect to be a five for one. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be like as long as you are at an advantage. This card is great. This card is amazing. Yeah, I mean, but people get crazy. super greedy. They they have a wrath in their hand, and then they don't play like three creatures and they should, and they take eleven damage. Don't do that. But this card is amazing. What I do like about this is that you gain back some of the life you've lost by being greedy. Yeah, this is a this is this is great. Yeah, tier one for sure. I'd say no, I'd say no, tier two. It's tier two. No, it's a tier two. You don't win automatically, but it's, it's yeah, very strong. Yeah. It does something nothing else you does. First I like that. This. You first pick this all the time. Oh yeah, hundred percent. Okay, fine. Yep, tier two. I'm happy with that. I agree with Debbie. Gear Go shift on. ace. Right, our first vehicle mention. Could someone please give our audience a little overview of what Gear vehicles Shift are? Gearshift Ace, one, uh, one colorless, one white. Creature, Dwarf Pilot, uncommon. First strike. When Gearshift Ace crews a vehicle, that vehicle gains first strike until the end of the turn. Hold on, what, is, what, what's a vehicle? And that is a 2-1. What is a vehicle? That's a good question. Oh, I think it's some sort of new mechanic. So new Have we seen any gear vehicles yet? No. They're all artifacts. And they're all at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Um, we should have done the artifacts first. Not dwarfs are good, though. Yeah, I mean, we just to <laughs> dwarfs bit are good. Of, a bit of background. I mean, vehicles are not a mechanic that we've ever had in Magic, but can be sort of evaluated in parallels with potentially sort of equipment and yeah, vehicles are weird equipment, basically. Yeah. Um, they... I, so vehicles are big artifacts that are that turn into artifact creatures when you crew them with creatures. So a vehicle with crew three 
has to be crewed by creatures with power equal to or greater than three. So either multiple creatures that add up to three or greater, or one creature that has three yeah. or more power so act to act to turn the artifact from an artifact to an artifact creature. So in theory, yes. a, ve a vehicle with crew two, you tap gear shift A, so that vehicle turns into an artifact creature and can attack or block. With first strike. Yeah. So how me, relevant? How, it, right. Firstly, how good is this card without the second bit? Two one white good. first strike. Agreed. Very good. First strike seems very good, especially low on the curve. Um, yeah. It's it feels to us that the common vehicles are potentially a trap um, and not particularly good. We will preface this by saying we've never played we've with never them. We've never played with them, but we're just thinking about your, they cost, in terms of their mana cost, they cost the card, that is, the cost of the vehicle, and then, the, and then, then, you're, then you're using the resources that is other creatures that you've had to play. Yeah, it can, it, it can go wrong. We don't know yet. We but don't, but it... You can't play 15 vehicles in a deck. Yeah, you probably... I would guess you're playing one or two. 14's fine. And, ho and hopefully... Fine. The I, I really don't know what's the number, but you you can't play too many. But what Alex said about um, just a two-mana, two-one first strike being good, I completely agree I, with. I think yeah, you, I, I think you're first picking this card and not being that unhappy with it. I, mm -hmm. I think I'd be quite... Um, I, wouldn't be I wouldn't be happy to first pick this card. At all, actually, but it's not terrible. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know how aggressive. If, if, if this is an aggressive format, or if there is an aggressive deck, this would be a great. Yeah. If the format is slow, this is a yeah, lot. That worse. is true. Yeah. yeah. But, but if there also... is a white aggressive deck, which is not unreasonable to think there will be, because there's almost always one, this card will be really solid. It's also good against an aggressive deck because it just shuts off their attacks. Yeah. So it's good on offense and good on defense. That. It's got one toughness. There's not too many things that punish one toughness. There's a twin bolt type effect. There's not too many. There's a pinger, but there aren't a huge yeah. There's no of like what, There's no board. There's not very many board wipes or like deal one damage to each creature opponent controls. Yeah, there's minus one. Well, there's a few. There's minus one, minus one. There's a few twin bolt pingers, but it's not as bad as in uh, the recent sets, which I'm forgetting the name. But Eldritch Moon, where you just thought if you're playing one toughness guy, he's gonna die to some sort of make mischief. Or yeah. malevolent smoldering werewolf instantly. Yeah, I like this card. I think I'd give it a tier four rating, and I put it at the top of tier four. Tier four. Wow. Okay, it's conservative. What do you yeah, think? I mean, mm. it's just the baseline is a two mana two one first right, which I think is good. Actually, it could. Yeah, I, I think it's around about that ballpark. I'm ignoring the vehicle thing at this point. If the vehicle thing is a huge deal, then. That's great, but like, yeah. there's, there's a 10-7 vehicle. If I'm attacking with that, I don't really give a shit if it gets first strike. The thing, I guess two drops in, in, in the time that I've played Magic, two drops that are very nice on turn two, which is this is one of the better two drops on turn two, and then is also great because you've drafted a deck with a vehicle because you know you have a gear shift ace. He's also good in the late game because he's giving your... Vehicle first strike. Okay, actually, you like that Seems does very versatile. Me. Yeah, no, I like what you're saying. Sort of like a best in show, best in category of the two drop category. This is yeah, one which of, has okay. always been great. Okay, I, I'm convinced. Okay. So I'd say solid. Yeah, I think, tier I, think, three. I think this is a low tier three. Yeah, agreed. Okay, I'm, I'm I'm happy with that. Let's do it. Down we go to Glint Sleeve Artisan, otherwise known as Sandcrafter Mage. Fabricate, yep. fabricate. David, could you explain what fabricate is? No. Okay, well, luckily it says it hit. So, fab this is a three, two and a white for a two, two with fabricate one. When this creature enters the battlefield, put a one, one counter on it or create a one, one colorless servo artifact. So, what this do we think good... of fabricate as a mechanic? It's super good, right? Yeah. I like it. It's an interesting, fun mechanic, which leads to a lot of decisions. Now, here's the thing a three mana three, three would be. Quite good, especially in common. Yeah, that's just a good card. This is better than that. Strictly better than that. Like you have the choice of doing it or not. So it's more versatile than a three mana three three, which is already a really good rate. Card solid. Mm. Yeah, I could I could see myself first picking this in a wheat pack. There's stuff that synergizes with one counts, there's stuff that synergizes with colorless server artifacts. I, think, I see this as sort of a, a brazen walls of the, the set. Like, yeah, it's your, looking like one of the strong, yeah, yeah, it's stronger like, white commons. It's like, is it a like good a, pack? A is it a good pack? It's not a good pack. Let's take this. 
Yeah, I think the player. card is solid. I'd still prefer the two minor two one first draft. Agreed. I think that's got slightly more inherent power. I put it at the top of a tier four. Yep, I'm happy with that. Yeah, so, and so this goes that. at top of the tier four. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Herald of the Fair. I don't know this card. Someone read it for me. Two and a white. A creature, human, common. When Herald of the Fair enters the battlefield, target creature you control gets plus one, plus one until the end of turn. It's a 3 2. Yeah, your generic white 3 mana 3 yeah. 2 with marginal it's not that exciting, upside. Is it? It's always a solid playable. This is a solid playable. I'm not. Uh, it's okay. It depends, like, it depends what the format is. The format's about dirtling around, doing fun things, staffing. It's like crewing huge vehicles and getting for big attacks. This, this, is considerably, this is considerably worse than the last card. Yes. Put the last card in tier 4. Yeah, I, but like, this, would be, this would be a tier 4 as well. Yeah, I'd say the bottom. I'd say, I, like, I'm going back to the bird, because I think the bird sort of exemplifies what I see as tier 5, a card I don't want to play. I'm, I'm fine playing I, like, I'm not, I'm not thrilled to play this in a deck. Yeah, but, the card is fine. You're not, you're not unhappy if this is in your deck. Good. Okay, I, I, I'd say a, a medium tier 4, but this could go down markedly if, if the format, as I'm saying, if it's more about vehicles, if it's more about assembling big combos, because this doesn't really do that. This is just an average vanilla creature with a little bonus for it. Impeccable timing. Is that a Johnny? It so, is. We're going to have on a Johnny again. What's Sweet. a Johnny? don't know. It's uh, some, some kind of dish, some kind of uh, curry base. It's not. It's He is a planeswalker. It was last seen helping Elspeth, or trying to find her, in a Theros block. Mm. So, this is a one colourless, one white. It's an instant. It deals three damage to target attacking or blocking creature. So, a kind of standard, common white removal. Always it's, good. It's strictly worse than Gideon's Reproach, which was yeah. like a viable first pick in a bad pack. It's a solid card. Anyone got anything else to add? It's good. Good, yeah. good yeah, white okay. removal. Tier three? I no. don't know. I'd no. say four. Tier four. Okay, done. It's worth go so it's worth going down. The like so, tier what? Tier three is we're talking solid. Tier four is good playable. Tier five's bad filler. So they're all kind of fillery things. Yeah, and if this if this if this set is super aggressive, then this goes up. But otherwise, you're you're limited to only ever. You're very unlikely to kill a four cost creature with this. So you're usually even on mana cost or up one. So that's yeah. why these these sort of removal spells are never pushing tier three or tier two because yeah. it's sort of an even trade. And if and we've got loads, it has to attack and it has to block. You know, it, it just becomes more and more conditional. Agreed. And if we've got loads of creatures creating artifacts upon entering the battlefield, they yep. used, you're losing a bit of value to the one-for-one yeah. one trade. They're leaving yep. a pro behind. Yeah. Let's go down to it's inspired charge. Sorry, Gav, I cut you off. What were you going to say? Oh, I was just saying it's considerably worse than Gideon's Reproach, like like fifty percent worse. It's very much worse. Yeah. Cool. Uh, inspired charge. It's two uh, <laughs> white, white, instant creatures you control get plus two, plus one until end of turn. I'm gonna start. Go for it. This card will be great. Yep. Yeah, I think this I don't like inspired be... charge as a as a rule, but it says instant on it. It says no, instant. <laughs> this is a reprint. It has been around forever. Yeah. Just Why like you, Davy? I don't this understand. This is the best. Set for this, card. this card is going to be good range. This card is going to be a very good white common. Um, I actually agree here. I there are so build, many one ones. Yeah, I I will, I will pick this card over most white commons like in the beginning of a pick. Like you you don't want too many of them. You want like two maximum three. But in some decks, this card will be amazing. I think we've got. A, I think what you said there's really interesting. Some decks, like some decks, is a stone and. No, it's not for every single deck. No, it's not. But what there will be decks want, that will only work because of this card, and this will be they. They will be good decks, and the fact that it's an instant, even if it's one more mana, makes it so much better than the one from Shadows. What was what was the one from Shadows? Ethereal oh. guidance. Ethereal guidance. This is one more mana, but this is. So much better, so much better, because your well, opponent can live in the constant fear of you having it, and if the blocks lie in a way that you don't need to use it, you just don't use it. It's amazing. But what I counterbalance this with is, is I thought the same about Inspired Charge in Battle for Zendikar with mm. all the one ones, and it turned out to be a really bad card there. It was very bad. I, wasn't, but it, I, wasn't it sorcery? In... No, it was. It was still instant. It was, it was. It was. It was this card. Yeah, I don't know why it'd be so high on this one. 
I am, and I will be proven right. I think this will be great. What are you think... talking about then? Three, tier three? I still think tier four, but I think I would never give this tier four usually. I'm not really a big fan of the Inspired Charge effect. I just think this will be the set for it. I'm with Dabby. Okay, tier four I, Yeah, I think this could be extremely good. It's not, not going to crack tier three, but this could be one of the best white commons for this deck. You don't pick this up early, but when you're in the right deck, you know you want this. There are decks where in your last pack you're gonna pick this over anything. Agreed. If you've got eight right. top to produce, eight servo producers, this is. If a, you have, you have a deck that goes wide and you haven't picked one of those yet, you're gonna pick this over removal. Yeah, for sure. Agreed. Yep. Good. Down we go, Master Trinketeer. Okay, this is great. I'll read it. <laughs> two and a white. Two and a white for a rare. Three two servers and top to your control get plus one plus one. Three and a white, create a 1-1 one, one colorless servo artifact creature token. See above. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a card we've just talked about that could go well with this? Well, I just checked. We're still recording. We're still recording. It's all working. Thank God. Thank God for that. Uh, we've lost everything you've said, though, Davi. So if you just repeat it all now. No great loss. Right. So. Uh, uh, well. <laughs> brutal. Brutal. I think this card's brilliant. This card's amazing. Yep. Tier two, uh, next. Yep, yep, agreed. Doesn't crack the tier one, doesn't do... I mean, if you're behind, it doesn't do anything, but... And Jesus it's not Christ. for every deck as well. Uh, there are decks where this is not good. Name a deck. A blue deck? A blue green deck? <laughs> if it doesn't have a lot of artifacts. But, you still but you, you're you just creating If artifacts. it's more... If it, no, I mean, it's, it's never going to be bad. But there are decks that this is not amazing. Yeah. That's, that's if you point. take it early in the draft, you can... Probably very easily sculpt around this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and if you take it late in the draft, you're still very. If you take this pack, th open this in pack three, and you're in white, you're re you're really happy still. <laughs> yeah. Just yeah, a solid card. So, excellent cards. Tier two. Yeah. Then Probably. we go to Ninth Bridge Patrol. Sort of the the opposite of unruly mob, right? Will someone do the honors. One and a white creature. Whenever you. Whenever another creature you control leaves the battlefield, put a plus one plus one counter on this card, and it is a one one dwarf. Okay, well, first let's talk. How do creatures leave the battlefield? They can be exiled, go to the graveyard, be bounced, so that you can blink them, I suppose. Mm -hmm. So it does theoretically work with the blink archetype. Yeah. You blink. We're talking about flickering a creature, which doesn't help. I've just said another magic word. We're talking about uh, you basically remove a creature from play and then put it back in somehow. Yeah. So it, because it says leaves the battlefield as opposed to dies, uh, dies it gives you, it's just, yeah, it's going to get slightly more counters, but... Yeah, it's better than a ruling mob, for sure. I agree, but I still don't think that makes it good. No. I, I put this in a tier 5 yeah, filler. Yeah, I'm not feeling this card. I think this could be good. I, I'm just like, it's a 2 mana 1-1, one, one, first of all. I know it's got upside, but it's a 2 mana 1-1. One, one. I don't oh, like two mana one ones. We, we can put it there, but uh, some decks will like this. Agreed. Like the deck we've been talking about, it works really well with all these Thopters. But so did Unruly Mob. This is better than Unruly Mob. Like the only, only we, slightly. We can, we, can, we can leave it on on tier five, but this is pretty good. But Unruly Mob was great in the original Innistrad. It was the the reprint in Shadows just didn't quite have the setup, so it's not an thing to be bad card. I say tier five, but one to watch. Sure. Yep. And we go to Pressure Point. Okay, maybe I'm the wrong person to talk about this because I really liked this card in, in Fate Reforged. I white. really <laughs> liked this card in Fate Reforged more than I should. Yeah, me too. One the white, instant tap target creature, draw a card. Yeah, the difference is that was the prowess set. Yeah, true. This true. is not the prowess set. This is okay. I don't think there's any prowess, is there? There's no. A couple of, there's a couple of prowess creatures, there's one in blue. Okay. Uh, yeah, this is a lot worse than it was in Fate Reforged, and it wasn't. I, although I played it way more than I should have, it wasn't that great in Fate Reforged. I have to say, so I don't think this is amazing. No, I mean, what what deck do you want it in? An aggressive deck? <sighs> do you though? Because you're usually curving out. I don't know. Yeah, it's sort of it's a little bit of reach, but yeah, I'm down on this. And so I'd give it. I put it in tier five. Yeah, me too. Anyone defend? No, I mean, no. I've never experienced playing this card in Fate Reforged. I didn't play Fate Reforged. And it was, 
It was yeah. kind of a, a passive, like, if you need a 23rd card, you'll play this. Yeah, so yeah you probably will find, you, you'll see it being cast, but I, yeah, I'm not happy it's about that. It's the end of the world if you're playing it. It's no, because it cycles. So what have I done? It's, it's yeah, a good thing. You don't want to, but, you, you know, sometimes you do what you gotta do, you know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> does something, it's yeah, like, yeah, like it is. do what you gotta do. Do what you gotta do, friend. You know, when life gives you lemons, you play pressure points. <laughs> I like that. Propeller Pioneer. All the P's. When Propeller Pioneer enters the battle field, you fabricate. Which is Fabricate 1. Also, we should point out at this point, Fabricate 1 is obviously self-explanatory. Fabricate 2, you do not get to choose one server artifact and one plus one, one counter. You either yes. get the artifact or you ah, choose the counters, point. which is a lot worse. So the worst case scenario for this is to 4 mana 3-2 flyer, which is good. Yes, it is. Yeah, I think this card will be surprisingly good. I think it's a little expensive. If you look at Sandstep Outcast, which was... Sorry, if you look at Eldrazi Sky Spawner, which is a good way of looking at this. This is a worse... worse than, it's about the same thing as Sky Spawner, but a mana more. Okay, but this is worse than the best blue common in the format. <laughs> good point. So, I agree, it is worse, but it doesn't mean... It, yeah, it's still quite decent. It is expensive, though. Yeah, I think the Aldressa Sky Spawner was busted. I mean, the card was too good for common. True, true. I I put this towards the bottom of tier four. Like a four mana three two flyer at worst is good. Yep, I'm I'm happy with tier four for this. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. And as we get further into the okay. green sits, we'll see how the plus one plus one counter synergize and the artifact synergize. So, right, it's a decent card. It has room to move. Exactly, as does Refurbish. This card looks so good. It's just so expensive. So it's a three and a white. It's a sorcery. You, you can return target artifact card from your graveyard to the battlefield. So now, this is quite good in a set with lots of, I don't know, milling and everything. But we don't have that in this set. It doesn't seem. Don't we? I don't know. I haven't. I haven't seen the full spoiler. No, we don't. If there, if there are ways to put stuff on the graveyard, this is great. The, the one thing I mean, I, when I saw this was spoiled, and I was like, oh, could this potentially see standard play? There's not apart from the gear hogs and one or two others, there's not actually that many artifacts where you're getting a cheap rate on a card that you've had to put effort into putting into the graveyard. And it's, you know, it's a sorcery speed, so you just, you might as well have just cast that card. I think this is not actually, it feels like, oh, there's going to be really cool synergy and this will be like, oh, I'm getting this, I, I don't think this card's going to get there. Yeah, no. it's probably not very good. I think yeah. it's situational. Like, if, I'm, if I've got a Gear Hulk, I'm playing this 100% of the time. But Really? I mean, it's a, it can just be 4 mana and absolutely do nothing. Yeah, true. true. Look, I'm, I'm not up on this card. I'd say Tier 5. But I'm going to go Tier 6. Ooh, controversial. Um... There are a lot of artifacts. I mean, it returns to the battlefield as well. It's... it's a, a strong boon. So yeah, I would give this a tier five. I think there is enough. There are enough artifacts where this is good. Gavin. Yeah. Because even even if even even if your artifact just dies, so like a vehicle or something, just bring it back to the battlefield. This is good. Yeah, that is. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fine, yeah. Okay. But Alex is right. It's expensive, and there are times when it's just. But so, like, we had um, Rise from the Grave, which was one more mana, but it was creatures from either yours or your opponent's graveyard, and it went to the battlefield. And that Where, was what tier would we put that in? Five. Yeah, and this is worse because it's your. It's only your. It's only your graveyard, and it's only artifacts. True. Uh, tier five, but I don't know. Yeah, could, yeah you're right. Someday. I think tier five, and it could it could just be stone unplayable. Well, not unplayable, but just stone bad. Okay. Yeah. So what tier? Tier five, we're saying. Tier five. Let's go to revoke privileges. Oh, this card's great. Two and a white enchantment aura. Enchant creature. Enchant creature can't attack, block, or crew vehicles. Mm, good. So it's the, it's this as a procedure. We've got a, a thematic pacifism. Yep. Wait, yep. can't attack block, or is that, I've, David, I'm just going to go back to that card we talked about before, the Conchador one, I'm going to scroll up to it. This card is so much better Stop in my mind. Stop being stuck on the past, that's your problem. <laughs> <laughs> You're always, oh, I remember 1991, <laughs> man, just don't no, man, just move forward. <laughs> oh, in my mind, that card is very strong. I don't remember what the other card did, so let's just move on. All right, well, in my so mind... this is I, a straight, solid playable... It's a removal. It's great. Yeah, yeah. it'll be the it'll be it'll be the. It's, you're gonna be happy about it. It'll this probably be the best white card. 
Yeah, like, de facto like top. Sorry, White Palmer. Agreed. This is a really okay. strong pick. Pick it highly. I take this a lot. First pick out of packs. Tier three, yeah. very solid. Tier three. Tier three. Servo exhibition. Oh, I like this card. Yeah. Sorcery, one the white. Create two colorless servo artifact creature tokens. Mm. Okay, so this is like obviously a similar card okay. to Raise the Alarm, which is one the white instant to create two one one humans. So we have to assume, in order for this to be better, that the artifact subtype needs to matter. I think it's worse because it's a sorcery. Yeah, yeah you're not gonna, you're not going to blow anyone out with this. No. Uh, yeah, I think. I don't think this uh, is very good. I think I think this is worse than. Uh, Raise the alarm by a bit. How about Dragon Fodder? Being being an instant is great for Raise the alarm. Yeah, Where, but this you... card is good. It's very good. This card is good. How do you compare it to Dragon Fodder? It's better because there's more synergies with what you're. Yeah, creating. probably better. Yeah. When we say good, I I still think in tier four. Tier four, good. I wouldn't say. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. not a yeah. Okay, I mean it will depend on how many artifact synergies we have. I'm, tier four. I think this card will be. Yeah, better than we like. We're, I think we're being a bit conservative on how good this card. Can yeah, be. you're right. If, if the if these are, like, I don't think this is a tier three card. I don't think. No. No one near. Surely. Mm. Tier four. Interesting. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, I'm I'm quite high on this card. I think it could be great. Okay. Why is this? Okay, so assuming you have a deck that makes use of the. Yeah, you could card. be. You could be right. You could because be right. there's a lot. Because it. it it doesn't cost very much. It creates two bodies, and those two bodies synergize across a lot of different synergies within all the color pairings. So it's mm, interesting. Just, just seems like it will enable, like you can, you can take it early in the draft, and you just it it leaves you open to do the really powerful things. No, I think this card is good, but I don't think you reach the tier three. Like the, it's not in the same level as the removal or uh, the removal yeah. that we just. Yeah, saw. No, no. yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm. No, I, I see what you're saying. Though. I think, I think it's strong. I think we could be underrating it, but I, I say four for now. Oh, we could be underrating it if the synergies really show up. This could be a higher pick for sure. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. gone in four. Yeah, four. Wait, wait. I'm happy with four. Okay. okay. Sky, sky swirl harrier, four and a white, three four flyer. Fine. Yeah. This is as Next. fillery as you get. Tier four. Yeah. No, tier five. Five. Really? Five, five hundred yeah. and three, four fly is good. No, yeah. not really. I mean, ugh. It ends the game. <laughs> this is I not bad for the sideboard. I, 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 I'm, I don't know. I'm not a fan. Think of Stitchwing Mangler. It was strictly better than this one. Stitchwing. Oh, the the. Three the blue blue Stitchwing Mangler, right? No. Advanced Stitchwing. Advanced Stitchwing, yeah. That card was strictly better than this one. I thought that card was great. It was very good, but it was uh, a lot, lot better than this. Mm -hmm. It recurred, which is amazing. I'd say this is solid tier 4. It's a 3 4 flyer for flyer. I'm never going to be excited because, to play it. I don't say this is a solid tier 4 because. How many of these you want in your deck? You're not yeah. gonna play every single copy that you open. Uh, I think I will put this as a high tier five. I mean, because here's here, here and here here's why. If you see this card as face value, okay, it's no it's not horrible. But you don't the five plus slot is not it is not very big. So you want slot five cards that are cost five or plus. So this will be competing f with way stronger cards, hopefully rares or cards that do a lot more. You're gonna cut this out of your deck a lot of the time. So at face value it looks decent, but I'm telling you there were there are a lot of decks that you're just gonna cut this. I don't necessarily think that's true. I think a five mana three four flyer like it's got flying. Flying is great and limited. It flies yeah, over and wins. I am aware that the three four flyer has flying. I, t I don't think this is a great tier 4 card, but I do think it's tier 4. I definitely don't think this is tier 5. Just the. This yeah, is, sure, I'm happy with that. I don't think it's. I see what you're saying, but like at 5, at five mana card, like if I'm paying 5 for something, this is what I want. I want a card that will end the game quickly. It doesn't sort end the game that quickly, though. If, you're, if you didn't do damage before, this is a 7 turn clock. Hmm, good point. 
Okay, I, I'm. Yeah, my I five don't... drop is a seven turn clock. Do well. <laughs> I don't think it's got evasion though. And evasion's great. I'd say lower tier four. Yeah, sure, know. could be worse than that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Like, yeah. I could completely be wrong, and it could just be the. the I think so you want to be things. when you're up at the five mana slot in this set. My instinct tells me you want to be doing synergistic things, not playing vanilla. Yeah, this is a life. very. This set, the power level on this set is it's really high. I yeah, don't, but we could. I mean, nobody, nobody played with this. We could all be wrong, but yeah, I don't yeah. think this is what you you want to do for five mana in the set. Yeah, I don't know. Synergy is great and all, but like attacking for three in the air is just. I don't know. I, I'd say low tier four, and I'm willing to admit I may be wrong when it's. But there's there's that common thing. vehicle that mans for four. That's an eight seven menace, <laughs> and we decided that, and we were speculating <laughs> that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I think good it point, probably good isn't point. the best thing for... to do. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not unhappy if you put this on a low tier 4, but I think this is a high tier 5. Yep, I'm with Davi on this. Okay, I, I will let myself be convinced. And okay. go to the next card. Essentially, all, everything we're saying is speculation. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know exactly what is going to happen. Yeah. Let's go down. Sky Whaler Shot, this card's insane. Oh, this card's... Oh, this card... Three order this... four of these so that you don't have to make <laughs> friends for copies. Yeah, so when Smite the Monstrous was too strong, so let's make it cheaper with a scry and hitting more things. <laughs> and kill you two. Straight away. Yep. I don't I wouldn't say two. It's oh, maybe it, it's maybe premium it, removal. It's so good. Maybe I would actually, yeah. Is this a clear like I see tier shoe removal as clear shot? Yeah, this is as good as clear shot. Yeah. Uh, is it though in this set? Because there's a lot of Small creatures. There's a lot of decks going wide. At least in white. No, go, no, get me wrong. This card is amazing. It's just I have three of my creatures to crew my big vehicle. <laughs> <laughs> Sky whale yeah, shots. Yeah, okay. um, this card is great. <laughs> okay, okay, I can be convinced. I, I maybe this is a get this wrong. For sure. Okay, okay. This maybe is better better with it's upside, in. basically. Tasseled dromedary. Okay, best out of the set. Just I love this card. Insane. It's gorgeous, but it's tier five. Yeah, maybe yeah. six. It's probably tier six. Well, it depends. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to start this card. It depends how aggressive the set is. It's a one mana zero four. But you play it and dazzle your opponent. That's the, <laughs> that's the upside. This is Flavor only our cool. second tier six guys in this whole color. Interesting. It's also our first camel. Four, and this is a very high powered set. It's a very, a very stylish camel though, Davi. It is. Look at it. I say we. I still say tier six, but. Like it's a sideboard option. If this yeah, setting, six. Sure. If this is an aggressive, like played sometimes, it's not a disaster. You can put a counter on it and attack. It doesn't have defender. True. You could do. The, it's like yoke toxin origins. You didn't start you can it. Put but... a counter on it, and then it's just a really bad card. <laughs> <laughs> okay, two six. Next. Ooh, thriving ibex. Part of a thriving cycle. The fuck is an ibex? It's this. You've got an illustration right in front of you. Yeah, but is, is it really a thing? thing? An ibex? And it, yes, it is. Yeah. It's a real animal. I, I think bet ibex learn. is in Brazil. <laughs> yeah, it actually is. It probably is. I don't think there are ibex. I think they're native. I think they're native to Brazil. <laughs> they are. <laughs> no, I've Googled it, they're not. Samba football and Ibex, and that's what we're known for. Well, Davi, you better read this out, seeing as it's your national beast. Yeah. So, Thriving Ibex is a goat, which I, I like. <laughs> when it enters the battlefield, you get two Pokemon energies. Whenever it attacks, you may pay two energy. If you do, you put a plus one, plus one counter on it. This is of a cycle. Every color has one of those. This might be the worst one. Yeah, cause you, I mean, if you, you don't really want to attack with this, do you? Yeah, you attack with, like you're attacking on turn five with a two four. Two, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, it's not, it's, I, I, I feel four mana three time. five, right? Mm. Yeah, no, it's not, it's, I, I it's, played some oxes on my time. I'm a big fan of the ox, and but this, crucially, cr yeah, crucially, this, this is, is not this a four mana three five, ox, probably. Well, but as I mean, it's not a four mana three five. You've got to attack to make it that sense, then you've got to pay the energy. Yeah. Sometimes it just doesn't have yeah, an attack. You can just use the energy for something else. This card is okay. I'd say it. I don't know. I think this is yeah, a low four, high five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's a four. Yeah, I, I I think the thriving creatures are going to be quite good just because the flexibility of you having the energy and you don't have to you can sort of upgrade the cre the creature in itself, but you 
likely wanting to do more yeah, synergistic is... things with using the energy in a more powerful way. It's definitely not a five. I, mean, I think it's a. I think it's a five. I. I think the fly is better than this. It's a four mana two four. Okay, the energy is good, and you may have an attack, and you may have several attacks that it will grow. Yeah, yeah I'm, not loving, I'm not loving the Ibex. No, it's this, not great. Series, I'd say it's a tier I five. Think it's, I think it's a solid player, but I don't think it's a disaster if you have it in your deck. I think it's a four. So that's a four is decent fella. Low four, yeah. I don't know. I, I I would rather play the flyer than this. I think they're about the same. This and the flyer are similar in my mind. So it's lower lower four, higher five. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. Okay. Toolcraft exemplar. One white constructed plant. Creature dwarf artifact. It's rare. It's a one one. Beginning of combat, and you turn if you control an artifact. It gets plus two plus one, and it's got metal craft. If you control three or more artifacts, it also gains first strike until end of turn. Yeah, this is good. This is a good card in Constructed. I think in Limited it's going to be a bit limited. If we think every deck is going to have an artifact in it, then this is okay. I think. Uh... You're going to be really sad if this is your 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 rare, right? But Yeah, I would never first pick this. I, think this I don't think five. this is very good. Yeah, yeah I'm, think... not, I'm not big on this card. I'm not feeling it. I'm, I'm for a 5 on this one. Like, it's a 1 mana 1 1 that needs I agree. Worth. Okay, tier 5 straight away. Yeah. Trusty Companion, 1 white, 3 2 Vigilance, Uncommon, it cannot attack alone. What's an interesting one? The reprint. It shows affection and Uncommon would never, never kill. <laughs> I like that reference. Did you know that I had the pet hyena for a while? Did you really? No. Oh. <laughs> He's not like a Congolese warlord. I've been had, I've been had. <laughs> With his golden AK. Um... Uh, what do you think? If I'm playing a 2. Uh, two mana vigilance, three two. I want to attack. I think I think in an aggressive deck, this card is good. Yes. Yeah. Here's, here's an artist impression of Davi in his homeland. Greg, can you open that <laughs> Skype link, please? <laughs> derogatory towards most people, really. But that's... That is quite racist. In many ways. No, it's not. No, it, it's, this is how I imagine Brazil looks. <laughs> You said you had a pet hyena, man. Gavin, well traveled man. You know that what you think is public, right? You're not just talking to yourself here. Know, but that is just a picture By of By the way, for the 200,000 Brazilians living in London, Greg's addre uh, Gavin's address is. <laughs> what do you think of Companion? Can't tackle it. I'd say it's. Uh, you pick it when you're in red, white. Um... Or something aggressive, yeah, green, white. I'd say four, low four. Yeah. Maybe a five. Depending on the deck. It blocks well. I, I yeah. will almost always play this. It doesn't block oh, yeah, well. yeah, it's sorry. For, it's two mana for a 3-2. Yeah, sorry. This is... It blocks. Yeah. It's a great blocker. Yeah. yeah, it can't be worse than four, but it can't be better because of the restriction on the attacks. I'd say four. Yeah, it's a four. Yeah, four. It doesn't even attack brilliantly. Decent it's got filler defense. is what we're saying. High decent filler. Yeah, yeah. Okay, very cool. near the end here. Visionary Augmenter. Two white white uncommon for a 2-1. And our first instance of Fabricate 2. This card's good. This card is good. Worst case uh, scenario, it's a 4 mana 4-3. Four, for those of you who are not convinced, 4 mana 4-3s have always been good in the past. Okay, it's double colored, but I think the plus 1 counters actually means so something So was Summit Prowler, and Summit Prowler saw was great. True, true. It was good. It was great. Like, and this is but, better than Summit Prowler. Yeah, first of all, the plus 1, plus 1 counters actually mean something, especially if you're playing green. The artifacts mean something. I give this a very solid tier 3. I'm happy to pick this card early. It puts me in a diff lot of different directions. can go the swarm strategy. You can go the white-green plus 1, plus 1 strategy. I think this card's very good. Yep, agree. Cool, I agree. Yeah. Sweet. Our last white Wait, card... Wait, what was the ranking for that? Three. Tier 3. Is it a 3, though? I think so. I think so the flexibility... Better. The flexibility, like, 2-1 with two servos. Yeah, probably. Yeah, 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 probably. Yeah. It is. Wisp Weaver Angel, okay, this card's very good in my mind. Six mana. Flyer, Creature Angel. When it ends the battlefield, you may, you're not compelled to, exile another target creature control and return it to the battlefield under its owner's control, aka blinking it. So all these beautiful end the battlefield effects, like Fabricate, you get to use it again. You get to recreate all the artifacts, or if you create the artifacts, you get to get the counters on it, or just get more artifacts. Yeah. It's expensive, but it's very strong. It's also a 4 4 flyer. Yeah. It's a good card. Yeah, yeah. I'm I mean, not blown away, but it's a tier good Tier 3? Solo playable? I or think higher. so. I think it's a tier 3. 
Yeah, if you're in white, you're, you're definitely playing this. I think yeah, unless, you're, unless you're a, a very aggro deck, yeah, you're probably, playing this. Yeah. There's just so so many things that synergize. Yeah, there's yeah, so many things that have linked. Even the and even if, the common. You, if so, they've got a creature that they've put lots of counters on, you can then flicker it and remove no, it's counters. You, oh, is it you control my bad? Sorry. Your bad brawl. Still very strong card. I'd say tier three. Amazing. I right, agree. ladies and gents, this concludes part one of our set review. White is done. We've done and dusted that, bro. We shall be back for well, blue. Not to not to ruin anything, but for now, <laughs> signing off. Oh, I'll tell you what. Before we go, what, we'll do all the best comments at the end. We'll do, we'll do another video. We'll milk this for all it's worth. We'll get the sponsorship yeah. money rolling yeah, right in. Fuck you all. You're not hearing nothing, guys. See you in the next video. Hope you Bye. enjoyed. Bye.